Hello! It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot again. Hope everybody's well. Hey, you know what? It's June. So we're knocking out some June readings. Uh, I don't even know who the hell's next. Oh boy, Sagittarius. Good deal. Okay. Hmm. Sagittarius. Looks like the universe has decided that you are next for readings. Well, that's usually how it works. I stopped making decisions a long time ago. I let the universe do it now. All right. Starting with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, Sagittarius, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. I know, uh... Our dear friends, the cross watches are always welcome here at Fire Sign Table Table. Everybody's always welcome, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. I really do. I appreciate you guys coming down and spending time with me, because it gets awful boring back here by myself, let me tell you. Anyway, before we throw down your cards, Sagittarius, there's two quick things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I don't recommend it. And two, it's not your reading, not your story, not your message. If it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it's not resonating in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's just not your message, Sagittarius. It's not going to be your message every time. That's not how tarot works. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us again today. Let's bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sagittarius, why are you here? The Seven of Cups. Confusion! Possibility you're scared to death you're going to take the wrong path. That's what that's saying to me right now. All right. What happened? Six of Pentacles reversed. There was a connection that was not equal give and take. Okay. The chariot. I think you put some distance between yourself and whatever that was. Maybe you drove the chariot where you wanted it to go. Because it's your life, Sagittarius. It's what you should have been doing. Okay going on right now? Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Why are you heartbroken? I mean, it sucks, but it's really only three swords. I mean, it's not ten. Let's just try not to accumulate any more. I mean, it's, uh, I'm trying to put a positive spin on it, okay? It's not the crappiest card in the deck, but you know, I feel you. I feel you. Heartbreak sucks, but... See what's coming in. Three of Wands reversed. And the Ten of Wands. Walking away from the dock and releasing a burden. Okay. Hmm. All right. Page of Swords. Sparse communication. Or no communication at all. Possibly a block in communication. Or truth not being told. We'll throw a clarifier on in a second. Four of Swords. You disconnected from something that was not equal. You laid it to rest. You took chill time. Page of Wands. Wow, okay. Steered your chariot the way you wanted it to go down your path. And not making or taking a whole lot of offers, apparently. Okay. 
And your heart broke because of the lovers. Card of Gemini. Some of you may have a choice. The connection's there. It's been brought together for, for why is it heartbreaking then? This is why we get clarity. Just go with it. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Not waiting at the dock, closing out a cycle. Possibly karmic. Those come. Those come a lot. And it is Mercury retrograde. So it's probably a good idea to not get anything started right now anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because if it is karmic, it's just going to close itself out anyway. More than likely. So. Ten of wands. Six of Cups. Mm. That's cute. That's adorable. That's a soulmate card. This is somebody you played with before. Closing out of a karmic cycle. Okay. I just read Gemini's cards and I had my foot up for 40 minutes. So let's see how long I can keep it down on the floor. <laughs> before I got to put my foot up again. I also walked from one end of the house to the other. I didn't fare so well. I mean, I fared a little bit better than I did when I got out of the shower and got into the shower. That was an adventure. That was two minutes of standing there deciding what foot to put in first. Oh, yeah, I'm off on medical leave for the next two days because of some issues with my Achilles tendon in my right foot. I don't know if I brought that up earlier or not. That's why I'm here on a Friday afternoon reading cards instead of being at the bread and butter job, but I'm here nor there, I guess. I'm doing something. Universe, source, and spirit. Gonna get some clarity in the cards and tip for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June Seven of Cups reversed here. Thank you. King of Cups. Major feels. Whoa. Sagittarius, did you catch feelings? You allowed yourself to catch feelings? Congratulations. That's not something Sagittarius is good at, so I have got to give you props. I'm just saying. I'm terrible at it. Terrible at it. Okay, why the Page of Swords reversed? Six of Cups flew out. Okay, one of the Six of Cups. Ace of, it's Ace of Wands reversed, okay. Are you afraid to move forward because it's going well? 
I mean, totally a Sagittarius thing. I get that. Live in the moment. What? What? <laughs> You're confused. Because it's going well. And you're happy. You feel young again. One more on this Ace of Wands reversed. Whoa. Ace of Swords. Okay. Possibly you want it to be more than just... Oh my god. You want to do something slowly? Sagittarius, I'm even more proud of you than I was two minutes ago. You want to think this through? If I could hug you, I would. Oh my gosh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing you. I'm not. I'm not bashing you. Sagittarians definitely think things through more than, say, a Leo or an Aries. Because, you know, fire is action. It is go. And Sagittarians think things through. And even if there's hesitation, sometimes they jump anyway. There's hesitation here. You're thinking it through. You, it, it, this is more than just want. Th this is deep. This is feelings. And I think you're afraid of it. I, I'm, I'm getting a friggin' anxiety attack. I mean, I'm a Sagittarius. But this is a general read. It's not... Whew, okay. What's up with that? Oh my god. I don't get anxiety attacks. Holy cow. Especially when I'm sitting at my table. The sense of fear. This hesitation, you don't wanna you don't you don't wanna to say too much. I'm hearing don't say too much, don't say too much, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't tell them how you feel, don't say it, don't say it. Sagittarius. Okay. Usually you don't have an issue opening your mouth, but if somebody's having an issue opening their mouth out there, let's just finish reading your cards before you open your mouth. Okay. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but just throw a clarifier on it for the hell of it. Thanks. Five of Swords. There was words. There was words, Sagittarius. I think you finally stood up and said enough is enough, and I'm done in an unequal connection, and I'm not doing this anymore. There was definitely words. There was a game-changing moment in the connection you had way back when. And that was a connection that changed you by what I'm feeling off of this because you went into rest mode for a minute. Why is four swords here? Seven of swords reversed. Yeah, yeah. I know. The seven of swords is like the jer the jerk of the tarot deck. Always comes back for stuff that's not what I'm sensing off of this. It, it's also a card of planning. I think you just went into chill mode. I'm not planning anything. I'm not. I'm okay. I'm okay. One more. I'm hearing I'm okay being alone. Knight of Swords. Thinking with logic and not emotion. I think you just kind of closed yourself off emotionally for a while. And just said, I'm, I, I can't anymore. I need to start using my head and thinking of me, and I need to rest and meditate on things a little bit more. That's awesome. That's awesome. Self-care is very important, especially the mental and emotional. It's almost more important than the physical, because if you're, you aren't mentally and emotionally okay, being physically okay is challenging. And up, up at the top of that list should be spiritually okay. If you're not spiritually okay, Everything else just falls to the wayside, as far as I'm concerned. 
Why is Cherry here? Nine of Wands, you steered that chariot where you wanted it to go, and you didn't care what anybody else felt or thought, and you put up walls. There's one stick missing out of this. There's one stick missing out of this. I can, I can see out my walls. I know somebody's there. But there's walls up. Because I'm in my chariot and I'm driving. And we're doing this my way. <laughs> and this is where I want my chariot to go. Bullhead, stubborn Sagittarius, you are. I know because I are one. Okay. Hmm. Why the page of wands reversed? Eight of wands. How many dating apps do you have on your phone and how many times have you hit the reject button? That's my question. Lots of communication, lots of messages coming in very quickly. One more in the state of wands. One more. Two of Cups reversed. You, you... <sighs> Why is Two of Cups reversed? Six of Swords in the Chariot again because I'm on my journey doing my thing my way. <laughs> or you're doing your thing your way. I'm taking my chariot down the highway I want to go down. This is my journey, damn it. This is what I'm hearing right now. I have my walls up. This is my journey, damn it. That's where you were at. You were just doing you, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think what's happening right now, You've been thrown or thrust into something that is scaring the crap out of you, Sagittarius. Why? Are you afraid of your own happiness? Are, are you afraid to be happy? I gotta sit and meditate on that for a second and sip some chai tea here. Give me two seconds. Hold on. I hear activity. I think the domestic partner has returned from work. Hold that thought. Where were we? Oh, the here and now. The three of swords and the lovers. Okay. That's where we were at. All right. Why is three of swords here? Justice. Carta Libra, if it means something to you. It's the leveling off of playing field. It's things returning to balance. I still don't understand why this is heartbreaking. that mighty sword coming down to cut crap out of your life that you don't need anymore. So why is it heartbreaking? The lovers just came out again. There's just, There's decisions and choices here.
jump oh man right in the middle there's decisions and choices and this is a soulmate connection that was brought together by whatever's up there God source your higher power the universe whatever whatever you choose to believe not telling me why you're heartbroken mm. Can I get one on the lovers down here, please? The tower. Sagittarius. How many times are we going to have this conversation? Why are you... Why are you causing a tower moment that you shouldn't... Why the tower? Why is it all crumbling down? Why are you manifesting crap in your life that doesn't need to be there? Why are you manifesting a tower where there shouldn't be one? I don't think that tower belongs there. Why the tower? Why the tower? Ten of cups reversed. Because somewhere in your head, you don't deserve happiness. Stop it. Stop it. I'm getting emotional. I'm getting misty. This is also something I don't like doing during my readings. I'm very empathic. I'm catching a lot of vibes right now. And rejecting a lot of phone calls <laughs> and messages. Um... Why the Ten of Cups reversed? Three of Pentacles reversed. Sun reversed. Page of Cups. It's that hesitation to open your mouth and say how you feel. Okay. Because this isn't going to go anywhere anyway. And this happiness is only temporary. Why are you manifesting crap into your life that does not need to be there, Sagittarius? Why are you manifesting a bad ending? Why? What's three of wands here?
Ace of Cups. You're not leaving the dock on your feet and walking away from it. You're leaving the dock in the boat. That's the best place to leave a dock, let me tell you. Why these cups? Strength reversed. You just let him go. Is there going to be a few anxiety attacks? Probably. <laughs> Am I doing the right thing? Why strength reversed? I'm hearing you're letting go of differences. King of Pentacles in the upright, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You're letting go of having to be in charge. Sagittarius. Can you do it? Something tells me some of you have been driving that chariot for a while. You're comfortable in your chariot. You're comfortable in your walls. But those walls are scary. And those walls are sad. But you gotta let them go. You have something potentially wonderful in front of you. And I don't like saying this during readings. Don't screw it up because you were afraid because the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get your heart broke and guess what if you get your heart broke that's temporary that's three of ten swords how long do you keep collecting swords How long do you keep collecting upside down swords? You know, in a, you know, you notice in the Ten of Swords, they're all upside down. They're never right set up. They're always upside down. How long do you collect those? I didn't open my mouth. I didn't open my mouth. I didn't open my mouth. Because it was safer if I didn't open my mouth. If I didn't open my mouth. If I didn't open my mouth. You gotta let all that go. You have to. I'd rather let it go with a three than a ten. I'm just saying. Just saying. That means you didn't complete the cycle. No, no, that's not what that means. It means this weird seven of swords over here turned itself right and set up in a weird positive way and you finally opened your mouth. Oh, okay. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, shit. Pardon my French. There goes my monetization. Something very painful will come to an end. But you have to be willing to let it, Sagittarius. You have to be willing to let it. You gotta come out of your walls. You gotta come out of your walls. You have to come out of your walls. You have to let them both end. Because the only one preventing you from finding your own happiness is you at this point. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but the only one preventing your happiness is you. The only one knocking your cups upside down right now is you.
Five of Pentacles reversed, coming in out of the cold. Allowing burdensome cycles to end. You want to talk. Page of Wands. Reversed. Why is Page of Wands reversed? I just heard the decks upside down, Deb Wad. You know. The imbalance and the healing finally taking place. I see some of you closing out your Tinder accounts. And, you know, whatever. Whatever dating site you happen to be going on. All those things that you never healed from, you start to heal from. All those things that kept knocking you back down, stop knocking you down. Why is the Six of Cups here? Page of Swords. Well, I'll be damned, you finally open your freaking mouth. Finally communicating those feelings when you let things go. When you talk about the things that you haven't healed from, you can finally heal from them. When you talk about the things that knocked you down, and you let it go and you release it, beautiful crap happens. Sagittarius, I need to take a break. This energetically whooped my butt, let me tell you. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for coming down. Have one hell of a June. <laughs> Be blessed. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll catch you next time. Mwah.